What is up, my fabulously fit friends? I'm heading to the gym. Totally another freaking cop. God. Today is it? It's gotta be Monday, right? It's not. It's not even close. Ready? Pull! this week's Women's Guide to the Weight Room. This is going to be part three. And today we're going to do all things squat rack, squat rack related. Squat rack related. Say that three times fast. <laughs> we're gonna learn all about the squat rack and what you can do in it. Stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm going to do an announcement because we have finally fit, finally, finally hit. <laughs> oh God. Day. So we have finally hit 50 subscribers. All right guys, welcome back. There are a variety of different types of squat racks, but basically the use of them stays the same. You might have something quite large like this one behind me. This is more of like a CrossFit rig. You can have just a stationary squat rack. You can even just have like the arms that kind of sit like so. So, and then the bar goes across them. That way it's a little bit more, um, you can take it wherever you need to. So if maybe you have a gym at your house, you can move it easily by yourself and you don't need a lot of help. These are gonna be a lot more stationary because they are drilled to the floor all the way up to the ceiling. You can squat in them. You can do ones like these, for example. You can do pull-ups on them. You can also do a variety of flat bench or incline bench options as well. So let me go through a couple things using the squat rack. Okay, the first thing that you wanna do is to move your hooks. These are adjustable hooks. You have two of them. Move them to wherever you're comfortable on the rack. So depending on what you're doing. So if you're doing bench press, then obviously they're gonna be lower. If you're gonna be squatting, they're gonna be higher. Okay, so we got the bar set up. It is mid-chest for me. You can pretty much just set up your sets and your reps however you see fit. So for example, this one's for you ladies. If you want that long, lean muscle, you're gonna wanna do lighter weight, higher rep. I wouldn't recommend you know, only squatting the bar if you are more than capable of adding weight to it. But starting out, you know, maybe try squatting the bar, add some weight as you go, make it a challenge for yourself. So if you know you can hit 65 pounds for 10 reps and it's no problem, then go up and wait. Give yourself a challenge. You need to be able to push yourself. Like I said, do lower weight unless you're capable of going higher and then keep the reps moderately high, so like between that 12 to 15 rep range. So let me go ahead and I'll show you kind of how you can do a pull. So I'm going to use this bar right here. Not you can do it a couple different ways. You can do a modified with a band. So make sure you tighten your band. Just move this around your foot. Can you see that? And that will give you some extra boost when doing your pull ups. You can also do a jumping pull up, which what that means is that you hop down after every rep in case you don't have like the upper body strength to do repetitive reps. The last one is just a regular pull up, and so you're just hanging the whole time and you're pulling your own body weight up with every rep. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can do a bench press. This is just gonna be your basic flat bench, in which that means it's just completely flat. There is no incline or decline to it. And then you just set up the bar as an adequate height, so that way you can lift it up and off of the hooks, and then that way you can do your reps. Alright, 
lastly guys, I'm gonna show you how you can do an incline and a decline bench press without having the adjustable bench. So it's just like this flat bench. All you need is something sturdy to put underneath it. So I'm gonna show you incline first. All you need on that incline is just that something sturdy and then you can adjust it. So like I'm using just one of the rubber bumpers. If I wanted to go taller, I would just stack them on. Alright guys, that is it for day three on the Women's Guide to the Weight Room. I hope this was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment below if you have any questions. We will see you next time. Bye guys. Oh my gosh, I got all the way home from the gym and I realized that I did not tell you guys my news. Ugh. I finally, take these off, I finally reached 50 subscribers on my channel, which is awesome. I have had my YouTube channel for like three, maybe longer years. I've always been like around like the 11 or 13 subscriber range because I didn't really take it seriously. Like I, I posted when I posted and then I went months at a time and even like a year at a time and so it's exciting. I feel like 50 was a large milestone for me. So I wanted to do um, a little bit of an incentive slash giveaway. When I reach 100 subscribers, I would like you guys to send me um, maybe some fun YouTube name options and the person that I choose is going to win an Amazon gift card. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will catch you guys later. Bye.